Hey guys, I uh, Pyron here, doing, finally doing the Monica review for Gundam Grimry from, I'm also Gundam Iron-Blooded Orphans. And I'm pretty sure it's Iron-Blooded Orphans and not IBO Gecko, but I will have to go back and actually check that and see, because I'm not pretty goddamn sure about that. As far as the detail for Gundam Grimry is concerned, I'm assuming it's around the regular IBO timeline with Tekken and Gecko series comes out. Not too sure, but either way. Let's go with the Baroness or the Grim Reaper herself. I guess that's what a lot of the names that everybody keeps calling for. Calling for. Especially with Gundam Grim Reaper being one of the more unique design kits compared to most of the other Gundam, uh, Gundam designs. Especially with this one also having its own kind of gimmick. With its um, head cloaked and being able to open and close. Which is, it's a slight gimmick. It's not a lot. But compared to, uh, was it Gundam Floors? Which has its transformation to like its um, mobile cannon mode. I think it's still pretty nice design. I really am liking the aesthetic of being a little bit more like kind of like Grim Reaper with the hood design wise for this uh, compared to other mobile suits. Um, loving the Halberg design. I love the Halberg design. Technically, it's a double sided axe. Uh, but since one of the sides kind of broken off, it's it's an axe. It's not a size. A size would be death size, size that you would see right there that is a size well it's a beam size but that's death size size but that's not well, this is not about that size this is about gundam grimry um what's it called uh, it's got a beautiful design it's binder wings are nice in design hood really liking it really able to catch the aesthetic of the of the gl of the gundam glare i don't know what's called i also do have to paint the other hand because i have the paint red as I like I, Banner tends to do. It doesn't do a lot of color correcting when it comes to these. Uh, aesthetic wise, really liking the feet. I'm liking the double toed claw feet for this. Really giving it for that very, very nice design. The legs designed are a little bit more beautiful. I really am sad I didn't get more and get another copy of Gundam Grammar or so. Love to make the fuck out of a custom. Loving the torso piece. Kind of reminded me a little bit of the Barber Taurus with its chest piece. I'm assuming these are. They took aesthetics, or at least took some of the aesthetic designs from the Barber Tours from the Gundam Grammy when they were building this, or vice versa. Loving the color palette. It, the, it has like a lightish brownish, kind of like a beige color for the most, or it would usually be white, but it's more beige. It's kind of like, um, it's a little bit beige than what Ga Gundam Gaishin, Gushin, or Hira, Hira, ah, or Corsair Tire Bushi. I'm bearing terrible with that design, with the name and whatnot. But overall, loving the aesthetic, loving the whole Grim Reaper look. Uh, no offense to size. Technically still better. But I do love Gundam Grimmery's uh, take for another Reaper design. Always welcome more and more Reaper designs, especially into mechs. They always look fantastic and whatnot, especially with cloak designs. Any mech that has a cloak design is always a uh, top 101, 100 in my, in my books. And soon, if I get my hands on it, I'm getting this, I'm getting the hell version of Death Size. That's Pete Bandai. But getting my hands on that is going to be difficult, so it will be eventual. But I mean, but that will be whenever I build the regular Death Size. Which, that will be a review for another day. But for the meantime, let's go with everything the Gunlet Grammarie comes with. And this is basically everything Gunlet Grammarie comes with, which is not a lot. comes with its awesome uh, Halberg, which is basically a Halberg now. It used to be... A dual sided battle axe. At least from what I would think about. It's an anchor battle axe, but since it's been destroyed, uh, what's it called? It's only one. It's called it comes with two manipulator hands. Well, it comes with four. So it comes with the base two manipulator hands that we see right here, which are basically the holding hands. Then it comes with the two uh, uh, open palm hands, which are basically the very scary claw hands that you would see with most of the IBO kids. Um, very nice design wise. Gundam Grimmery is very nice in design. It also, and going from the aesthetics, it also comes with, ah, oh, goddammit. Maybe one of my reviews where I'm not doing shit right now at the moment. Also comes with, and the other other weaponry it has is basically it's mounted uh, arm cannons right here. I can see design wise right there. It's pretty nice in design. It's just a regular mounted arm cannon. Ah, oh, goddammit. I kind of chose to do this without my goddamn stand if I'm going to be pretty honest. I'll give it one second. Hey right, folks, we're, we're back. What's it called? What's the Gundam Grimmery? Uh, uh, what's it called? Oh yeah, back. And the uh, besides the Halberg, the other weaponry that it, ha that it has are basically just two arm cannons, which it has right here on the sides. 
that you can see right here and I'm posing right now that you're gonna see right there. Be a little bit closer for them. Very nice design. I could probably do a little bit more painting molding on them, trying to make them a little bit more better, more pronounced. But that's pretty much it on that. Um, that's pretty much it on everything the gun really kind of comes with. It only comes with halberd. It's got two weaponry which are able to move around and flip over. Has a bendable pose and all that extend. And I, sh I forget, you can make these into weapons or whatnot. And gauntlets, but overall it's pretty nice in design wise. Really liking the cloak design feature for it. With the gun grimmery. I can see here. The cloak design is probably one of my favorite. Though I will say it does kind of hinder it as the gun grimmery really can't move its head. It's going to move its head slightly. So let's actually move to the uh, uh, possibility for this. Gundam Grimmer is able to move its head slide to slide. It's kind of restricted because of the whole cloak and hood thing. It's not able to move. It's able to move and wiggle its head, but that's pretty much it. But with the way this is designed, it, it kind of makes sense. But I still like it. I still love the design. The head design is probably, probably one of my favorite out of all the IBO kits, if I'm going to be pretty honest. Uh, let's go with arms, as basically this is technically a mostly modern kit. IBO. It can go... That much. It's got a little bit some restrictions because it has like double shoulder pointed thing. Technically speaking, since this is an IBO kit, you can just remove the arm. Come on, leg. Don't be hassle. For my reasons. I like IBO kits, but sometimes I really kind of wish Bandai would have been a little bit mod mod uh, more modified for this. See right there, the inside of the shoulder, shoulder for this. You can move this up and down. It's a little bit tight. Should have made a little bit sanding on this, so this can be a little bit more free wiggling. But I don't want to make this. I don't want to make that a little bit too loose. I would have too many kits where some shoulder parts are kind of too loose, and when I'm trying to pull them, manipulate them, they always go back and fly around. But as tech, one of the better things, the tensor for this is pretty easy and fun for when it comes to IBU kits. Very simple. They would move its hand around. It's able to push the arm all the way there pretty nice bendable as most IBO kits with their arms pretty nice design wise the arm is able to spin around as much as it can there might be some blockage thanks to the backpack wings but eh, that's per that's perfect fine and whatnot for IBO kits for standards move the arms a little bit backside Just twist this around as this is as most IPO kits, they're on a bow joint and whatnot for the torso and whatnot. It's kind of par for the course when it comes to IBO kits. If you've not built or played with any IBO kits, oh, you got to be kidding me. Let go. I really should put that backdrop on because this is already... I can see right there. Do not... Okay, there we go. There we go. That's what we're focusing on right there, folks. Focus on the Gundam Grammary on its torso twisting and not any of the guys on behind. I really, really need to focus on getting a goddamn backdrop. But besides that, Gundam Grimmery can spin around. Perfect 360 degrees. She can bend a bit forward and backwards, side to side. Pretty nice in design. No problem at all. Though, I will say this is an IBO kit, so be careful when that thing pops out. This is surprisingly, it's actually not been doing that, so that's actually pretty nice. A little bit better than compared to other IPO designs. And there goes the side skirt. So let me uh, put a little bit of rule. Or at least a little thing I kind of hate that they did with this side skirt thing. Is that it's on a kind of like a peg point here for the side skirt. So it's not able to move around slide to slide like all this. just goes up and down. But the front skirt actually attaches to this part right here. Which is fine and dandy. No longer attaches to the inside. Like most, like most kits usually do. Which is, I guess, just fine and dandy. It gives them a little bit more uh, free movement space, I guess. Uh, but it does make these things pop out a little bit way too much than I kind of want it for. So, side that all the way to the side, and it's pretty much it. Let's go with the legs. Legs are able to do its bend all the way that way. I mean, it kind of grammar can also do its her splits. Move a little bit over here. 
And unlike most of the other kids that try to do goddamn splits, Gundam Grimbury can do its splits. No problem at all. Woohoo. One of the few model kids that does its splits without able to fall apart. Then again, I think most of the ABO kids can do that fine. Because their leg designs are more flat. I say most, not all of them. I'm pretty sure I do know some of them that do have rounded legs. But you know what I mean when I say flat, when it comes to legs being flat. That's what I mean. Uh, Leg-wise, able to bend all the way there. They able to push the... And there goes the side skirt. That's what I mean by this. I kind of hate that they designed it like that way, but oh well. Leg can go all the way front, all the way back. Actually, it's pretty nice. Uh, besides the skirt being a little bit more posed up, which makes it able to go a little bit more back than most other kids would. That's pretty nice. They would have bend all the way here. So it's pretty nice bend right there. Uh, it's pretty much on the bend for the legs. I'm going to be pretty honest. They go a little bit more better that way. Uh, be able to push back itself. It's able to move. Uh, the legs can go side to side. Move back and forth. That is on a bowl turn for the legs. Right there. Uh, the skirt, uh, the feet armor skirt can move up and down. That's pretty much it. Overall, Gundam Grimry is a very nice kit, especially when compared to uh, IBO kits. Over time, uh, IBO kits do tend to get loose, especially during the torso joint parts. That's like one warning I would give to anybody, if they not just by uh, Gundam Grimry, but any of IBO kits. The torso joints oh, tend to get loose over time. <sighs> Most of mine haven't, but then again, I don't, I don't play too much with some of my IBO kits. The only ones that I've ever gotten that loose over time were the ones I decided to make custom versions of. But I tend to fix those versions because I kind of modified the torso piece of it. Where basically I glued basically the torso piece in for it. Uh, once it's cold, it not usually works out in the end. Oh, actually we've I missed the wings right here. And we have the backpack side of this. So that's a pretty nice backpack. A little bit, I will say, a little bit better backpack piece than I kind of gave to the Mark Corsius. I kind of wish they would have done a little bit better design on that. But the wings can go side to side, up and down. And that's pretty much it. It's, it is a removable backpack, so you can remove it. Just be careful. The backpack design actually is what has the, the whole back skirt is. So let's try to remove this and hopefully... I don't break this because things a little bit tight in there I'm gonna be honest I don't want to remove this because I kind of fear I'm gonna break this kind of hate Bandai a little bit on the way they designed this and that goes one part god fucking damn it oh those are for the wings okay those are wing designs I didn't break it thank god for a moment I thought I broke this and I was going to be kind of peeved at myself because I only have one Gundam Grimbury. And me having to do repair work on Model Kit right now, is, I'm not in the mood for that. So, I was just pointing out the back part piece. I can see right there, this is the whole back side design. It's able to fold around. It's pretty nice. It has like kind of three layers on the armor right there. So, it's pretty notable design armor wise. I kind of like it actually a little bit better without the, without the wings. The wings kind of make it kind of a little bit... Then again, I have this thing with mold, when a lot of mold suits tend to have like wing binders. Kind of like them prefer it without the binders, but that's just that's just me. Kind of like it a little bit better. Kind of looks more uh, demon esque without the wing binders, or at least a little bit more. But then again, it also kind of looks like a bug, like a horn bug. Kind of remind me of a Pokemon right now. I'm not sure which one. When it comes to Pokemon. But, uh, when it comes to actually, it was, uh, I'm tr forgetting what Pokemon was. I think it was either Scizors or Insector or something. I forget what it's called. The one that's able to close its uh, pincers or whatnot. Pincermon or something? I forget. I'm not that much a Pokemon person. But with that out of the way, this is the Monica review for the Gundam Grimmery. Overall, nice design. And when it comes to a lot of the IBO kits, I really like Gundam Grimmery. A little bit better, aesthetically wise. It's probably one of my more favorites. I'm sorry, Gundam Vidar. <laughs> Uh, you might have, somebody might have finally beaten you type uh, design wise and Gundam Astros. I'm 
Origins, I, I do apologize, but Gundam Grammar might be my favorite of the uh, Gundam frames now. I do apologize. I just love the design a little bit better. Barber Taurus still might top it a little bit, but one of my custom Barber Taurus, I'm going to be honest. But that's all because I customized it and my custom Gundam frame, which I will actually do a review of my custom Gundam frame later down the line. As it is a probably one of my few custom kits I've done, painted and modification wise. But with that out of the way, this is the Monica review for the Gundam Grimber. Hopefully you liked it. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, comment how I did. Um, next Monica review I will be doing, which actually now that kind of uh, brings me about it. Uh, was it the APO kit I was talking about or somebody else? I forget. It was one of Monica kits. Uh, all right. Uh, next Monica review I'll probably be doing is either going to be on the Gundam Master Ray Inversion or the Gundam Ground Type Earth urban combat type because I have not done the new revive for the gun of ground ground type units that band that came out or the astra astrain version either I do own both versions of these the regular versions uh the astray but the ground type that I own is the older ground type units as you can actually see right there somewhere all the way in the back side I forgot to put the light and whatnot but you can see some of my ground type units back there uh what's it called so I do have some some building of the ground type units some building of the ashtrays. Actually, ashtrays over here, but I'm going to be honest. There's the red frame right there. Next to the other uh, slightly seed kits. But was that out of the way? There's uh, Pyro in here. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good time.